Good morning, Kristen. How's it going over there? Good morning. It's going very well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. That that was some entrance you made. Wasn't it? It was it was quite explosive. <laughs> what did you think when you heard that that's how things were going to start? Um, obviously, it's a very uh, tragic storyline, but at the same time, it's high drama. It's a soap. Um, <laughs> our executive producer from When I've Lived, that is now the executive producer of General Hospital, um, on my first day of filming, I filmed all of those stunts, all of the dramatic things, and he said, Kristen, they're gonna, there's going to be a lot of crying, a lot of high drama, a lot of everything. I said, I know. I know what a soap is. I know what I signed up for, so... <laughs> Uh, well, I don't think it's going to go so well. Um, you know, finding out that you lose your boyfriend and your your baby, you know, they were her entire life, so. Um, right, and how are you handling it? Uh, you know, obviously it's, it's, it's sad, but, um, but, you know, uh, the, the storyline is so wonderful and it's so well written that I'm just so excited for it, so. So who is she going to find Alina? I know her mom's there, dad is coming. Yes, Todd and Blair are in Port Charles and they're going to be on this week, um, you know, going up against Sunny and Carly and I think it's just so much fun to see them on screen together. Um, even when I'm not in scenes, I watch the monitor and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe Sunny and Todd are talking to each other right now. It's just, it's, it's unreal. I know, I was thinking about how it's so funny that you've got the whole family and your own bosses, but you're all in a new place. <laughs> yes, yes, it's a little sunnier here. Um, and, and, um, it, and it's a new cast, a new crew and everything, and everyone has just been so nice and welcoming, which is, uh, such a big relief, so. Very cool. And I, does John's arrival play into any of this? Does who? The, the next arrival, after the family. Um, like, uh, John McBain? Yes. Yes, well, John McBain obviously um, is, you know, v was very close to Cole. He was like a father to Cole, so I'm sure he won't take the news very well. Um, and, uh, and, you know, he's, he's the cop, so I guess he's going to be going, you know, going for Sonny, which, uh, which will be fun. So it's about, first it's heartbreaking, but soon it's going to get tense. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, there's there's a lot of tension behind the heartbreak. There's there's a lot of revenge. Um, there's a lot of um, high drama. So you know, I think something very dramatic needed to happen in order for this storyline to really work. For there to be um, for there to be high tension. So do you have a message for One Life to Live and GH fans as you're coming into this new world and trying to bring new people in and meet new people and? Yeah, I mean, when you have, uh, you know, One Life to Live and General Hospital coming together on screen, it's very exciting. So all of the One, like, the one Life to Live fans will appreciate us um, to be able to see us again. And then the General Hospital fans will hopefully appreciate just some new blood coming in to stir up the pot. Um, and that's what we're hoping for. And I think that from what I've watched and what I've um, read from you know upcoming scripts, I think it's really great stuff. It's really it's it's gonna be great for the fans and people that have never maybe even watched soaps before for them to get into it. Do you feel the pressure? Is the pressure on as the one of the folks who got got a second chance? Yeah, I mean the pressure's totally on, but at the same time, it sort of fuels the fire. You know, it makes me come into work every day and really go, okay, I gotta nail this scene. Um, and I think that that's how we all feel going into it. Even, um, you know, I was talking to Maurice Bernard, who plays, you know, Sonny, and even though he's been working at General Hospital for so many years, he still feels like this is exciting, like this is a challenge. You know, we really got to step up our game now. We want to get a new audience in and we want to keep the fans that have always been there with General Hospital as well so and I have to ask how you're enjoying Los Angeles it's a very different city oh yes <laughs> um I'm enjoying it very much so uh you know it's the winter time and I was laying out by the pool yesterday so <laughs> I'm not complaining at all <laughs> I know I saw your tweeted pics I was like yes. that looks nice oh I know I'm a tweeting machine you're gonna see a picture of me with this background on there at any minute. <laughs> what do you like about Twitter? 
theater because not all the actors have gotten into it. You're definitely one that enjoys it. Well, I'm also big into Facebook with just like my personal life as well. I love taking pictures. I've always been the girl at the party that's like, guys, get together. Let me get a picture of you too. And I think like some people are annoyed by it, but then some, but then they always ask to see the picture afterwards. They're like, oh, can I see the pictures that you took? So I'm very happy to be the one to capture the memories um, because everyone always appreciates it in the end. And I love sharing it with the fans. It makes me, they're, they're like family to me. So. I, I love you're getting a whole yeah. new family. Yes, yes. The more the merrier, the more the merrier. I know ever, um, since uh, coming on to General Hospital, I went from having 26,000 fan, uh, 26 fo 26,000 followers on Twitter to now 30,000 followers, and that's literally in just two weeks, so. Wow. Yeah. Last <laughs> question, like, last question. You know, as a final question, what, what is it like to see yourself? You've talked about what it's like to be in that world and talking to Maurice, and, but what is it like to actually, now that it's airing, to see yourself in Port Charles? <laughs> it's so funny that you say that um, because I, I feel like the cameras are so different on General Hospital. The lighting is a little different. Um, so everything, like, it's it's just so cool and mysterious. And so the second, the first time I saw myself on the monitor, just, like, out of the corner of my eye on, the, on General Hospital, I just, like, got the chills. And I was like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. It just felt like such, it's, it feels like such a big deal. Um... And yeah, I, it's it's very cool. And the way that the my opening one of my opening scenes where I said Port Charles, I wonder what it's like here. And they started playing the music, like for the General Hospital opening. They did it perfectly, and it's just crazy. It's unexplainable. Very cool. Enjoy your new home. Thank you. And thank you for chatting. I I, I can't wait to see how this blows up. We've seen the explosion, but we haven't quite seen the blow up yet. I Oh, no, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for talking, honey. Thank you. Bye. Bye.